Bienvenidos, muses. Regrese con otro video. Today's video, we will be playing with foundation. As you can see, that's why I have my natural hair. Oh, yeah, my hair's been growing so annoying. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, although I am natural sometimes. I don't like to really talk about natural stuff because I don't really know much. Just that I haven't put a relax in my hair in like almost three years. Um, but these are clip-ins, you guys. They make... The way they blend with my texture, I'm like, wow. All right, hold on, these lips. Uh, a little bit, a little bit, bam. So I'm just letting my hair kind of like do its thing today. Like I'm letting, like I'm just wanting to like focus on face, but I'm also giving you like hair, right? I hope you yeah, with it. Today's video, we will be reviewing the new Hourglass, the new Hourglass, Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation. This guy right here. This is what we're gonna be talking about today. So I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this foundation. I've been seeing that it photographs really well. I also wanna see if it's going to get rid of the, what we call them, manchas. And I wanna see how she cooperates with the rest of my products or whatever, whatever. I'm gonna try to stick it to our, I'm gonna try to work with some Hourglass products that I already have here. Um, and yeah, we'll take it from there. If you guys are excited to see this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, y vamos a comenzar. Los fuimos mi gente. Okay, vamos a ver. So I'm gonna start off with the primer. This is the Veil, Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free Spectrum. It has a broad spectrum of SPF 15. Vamos a poner un poco. I remember using this primer and it has like kind of like that tinted kind of feel. And I thought it was gonna be un poquito más de crema, but you do hear the shh, shh, shh. So that means it's literally going to blur. Esto pores. They sent me three foundations, so I'm hoping one of these bad boys work. Yeah. Okay, so this definitely is going to blur out pour. Ah, oh, my hair is so long, I'm thinking about quite a nap. Girl, boom. All right, so we're gonna go in with the foundation. The foundation that they sent me is this guy right here, which is Golden Almond. Este aquí. Ay, Dios mío. So, vamos a ver. This is the shade, which I think might work. Like I'm looking at it here. Yo creo que todo puede trabajar. All right, let's do this. Uh, they have a brush here that is like bomb. This this foundation brush, obsessed with. All right, so I just apply that. <sighs> Ay, Dios mío. <laughs> I look blue. Oh my gosh, I look like I belong in the proud family. Okay. Oh, sure. Yo, what in the full coverage? What? You no puedo creer esto ahora mismo? When? Let me get my baby hands a little bit. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, this foundation brush, you guys. I'm literally getting the rest of it. All right, I'm just gonna take a sponge and I'm just gonna work it in the piel. Mi gente, ustedes están mirando esto, ¿verdad? This is full full. Wow, wow, wow. I'm gonna I'm go in a little bit more. Cause I'm really, what's this one called? Golden Almond, let me put this one right here. Let me not get too hype from the looks of it. Wow. I'm just trying to like really blend out. And I remember in my last video, I believe for the Morphe, people were saying that I put on too much foundation. 
I typically use two layers, especially when I'm even using like Fenty or my Bobbi foundation. I typically go in with two layers to really give me a full coverage. Like. Ooh, ooh, I think you, yes, I do. Oh, I'm just trying to like blur out the rest of my chest. Oops, there's some detail right here. Get this. Wow, 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 wow. What is this price point? What is going on? I am shook if the like a parents and me hindi tong kabe igual kwa el precio. What is the price point of this? The foundation is fifty-six dollars. Fifty-six dollars, okay. Okay. I've never paid $56 for a foundation. Whew! Okay. Okay. But damn, you know when something is good that you're like, I'm gonna have to drop my coin because I like this. I do. I really do. I'm over here like, it almost finishes like a powder. Let me, I need to, I need, I need to figure out what's, hold on. Let me view it on the website. Like, let me step back. You see that, right? Okay. So the Vanish Seamless Finish Liquid Foundation is $56. Um, the Future of Foundation, a highly concentrated liquid foundation designed to deliver instant full coverage. And my friend, holy, because no primer needed, so, oh, oops. I kind of used your primer already, but dang. Um, let's move on, let's do foundation. Um, what, what do I even do? Um, I'm gonna set my face, I'm gonna set it. Huh. I, I'm like losing track of thought right now because I'm so shocked. Okay, going with deep darkest. No, dark deepest. Okay. Or does it? I always have to check myself because I'm like, wait, wait. I know they're gonna check me, so let me just, just let me just calm down real quick before it like says, you need to relax because it looks like dookie. All right, I'm gonna just do these brows. Taking benefit, this number four, I've been leaning more towards number four than number five in the benefit, precisely my brow pencil. It's like, I don't know, I used to love a dark black brow. Now I'm more like a light, dark brown. So let's just line these up. I'm gonna go in with NC45. As want, I'm also going to be talking about the Black Radiance uh, foundation stick, but I used their foundation stick today to contour, and I thought it'd be a cool way to tell you guys about it. This is an espresso. in and set the face I mean well bronze up the face number 15 I'm gonna take morphine number 15 and I'm just gonna chupame la carita well this is like everyday makeup right here everyday natural beat no one will ever know you have makeup on take it from me like all my makeup tutorials is like everyday <laughs> Take this bare minerals and strike up a rose. Take my favorite mascara, which is the Hourglass Mascara. This is the Hourglass Caution Extreme Mascara. Look, this is my, this is my mascara right here, my lashes. And then you put this on. Oh. Everybody calm down. Oh jeez, Louise, thank you, Joe. Oh. <laughs> this NARS palette has kind of been like the palette I've been reaching for when I just want like a very neutral, subtle eye. Right, I'm gonna take this little brown color right here. Oh, 
that is such a bomb, beautiful transition. Then we're just gonna pop a little bit of shim shim up. I'm gonna take this hourglass scattered light glitter smoke. It's right here. Me gusta que ustedes creen. Okay, let's put some lashes on. I'm gonna take these lashes from Lorella. Lorella, yes, and these are called. These are called Que. Q U E. Okay. Take a little bit of NC45 and I'm gonna highlight under the eye. Take a little mask. Okay, I think we just need a little highlighter moment. And then terminamos. Throwing on a lip, whatever I can find here. Okay, guys. So my final thoughts on the foundation is uh, spend your coins. Got in su cuarto. I know that the foundation is priced at fifty six dollars, but honestly, like I just love how it covered up my dark spots. No questions. No. Uh, I I really like how it finished. Like, what do you guys think? I'm really here for it. First of all, these lashes kind of took me off guard too. I hope I have a few more of these somewhere. Cause wow, I'm really shocked at how this foundation looks like. Let me show you guys on my phone. Hold on, let's flip her. So, so this is what it looks like on the phone. And my hair, oh, so long. Um, I think it looks so bomb. Honestly, like, Spend your coins, all right? If you guys are looking for a, you know, a luxury high-end foundation that gets the job done, no questions asked. Yes, she's a cute coin or whatever, but if you guys want full full, esta va hacia aquí, te va a dar ese full full. So, uh, you, manchas, wear. That's all I'm gonna say. I love you guys. Comment down below. How do you guys feel about the foundation? Do you guys think it matched? Again, I'm even shocked that I was golden almond. Like, Yes, this is golden. And like, I really, I looked at the package, I was like, oh, I might have to go a little bit warmer. But I think go with, moving forward, I'm going with the foundation color that I know matches my chest. And I know that off the back, it might look light, but I will let this, I would, I have to, blah, 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 blah. I need to let the foundation oxidize and do its thing before I can really judge it. And as it oxidized, like I like a foundation that it still hasn't like made me look crazy. We have tried foundations in the past that while I'm applying my foundation, while I'm applying my makeup, it's starting to do some crazy stuff, but it looks good. I like it. Me gusta. What do you guys think? I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Are you opening your wallets? Uh, that's in su cuarto. I personally feel like, yes, this one is a little bit more on the luxury side. Yes, she's a little bit more on the quaint. I gotta see my quaint side, but I think it's worth it. I think if you can find a foundation that can change, that can even your skin tone, one base. On top of that, you don't have to even worry about doing a primer. I did a primer because I didn't read instructions like I usually don't. Um, but apparently you don't need to do you don't need to use a primer either. And it got rid and even out my skin tone in one application. I'm here for it. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Uh, are you opening your wallets? Are you closing your wallets? Déjenme saber abajo. Lo quiero a todo. You make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. What you were saying?